So let's take a look at how to get out values from this separate thread to the main thread. So here in the main.lua I'm going to create an empty string in the loud.load and I'm just going to call it text and will be equal to an empty string. And in the draw function I'm going to call the love.graphics.print function Oops, print function and it will print out the text of uh, let's say data is colon space and concatenate to it the text we just created in love.load and let's set it position to 10 on x, 10 on y, its orientation to 0 and also scale x to 2 and scale y to 2. And now if I run it, we have this data is printed to the screen and also here he runs the um, separate thread calculating the squares. So now I want to get these values and instead of printing it to the console, I am going to print it to, to this string. So data is and uh, numbers. So to get out values from a separate thread, we can use the so-called get channel function. So here in the for loop, instead of printing it out, I'm just going to del delete this print and I'm going to use the love.thread that get channel function. And first of all, you need to name your channel. I'm going to name it data and using the colon push function it will push to this channel called data the values of i times i so i, I squared and here i'm pushing the values in the separate thread and in the main thread in the love that update i'm going to pop out the values using the i'm first of all i'm going to create a variable to store these values so using the love that thread that get channel get channel we called this channel data so here I'm going to get the data channel data and pop out the values from the data channel so calling the pop uh, function and here I'm going to ask if data so if data is not nil then the text will be equal to data and and this if so now instead of printing it to the console it will it will print those numbers uh, to the window so let me try it and now as you can see data is and here it prints the uh, squares of these numbers. To actually make it a little bit more interesting I'm just going to uh, slow it down a little bit using the sockets library or module. So here in the thread code I'm going to require the socket module. So local sock equals require require the socket and I'm also after every iteration I'm also going to add a little bit of pause to the to the execution using the sock sock that sleep function let's say every 0.2 seconds and now let's run it and now it 
executes it a little bit slower. So I think this is the last video in, in my uh, mini series on multithreading in Love 2D. So these are the main functionalities how, uh, and, and the most interesting is this how to get out values from the uh, separate thread into the main thread.